All right, how's everybody going? Uh, I just want you to know we're supposed to record, so that's what the camera's back there for. One of our sessions we have to record so I can post it on the, on the, the whatever, my teacher thing. Um, I think everybody's probably been around a couple times, right? Uh, so uh, I am Mr. Tubido, this is Mr. Norton. We'll throw up the emails in a, a little bit. This is just a little kind of, I don't know, kind of what we're looking at. Our orchestra program started in 1983. Uh, the orchestra building, we, we try to make it as close to a second home as possible. We both get here around 7 o'clock, and if we leave before 6, that's a really good day. Uh, so we're here often for the kids to stay and uh, practice or hang out. We were joking earlier, you know, there's two freshmen and about six upperclassmen that love to eat lunch in our office every day. Uh, but the room is open fourth, fifth, and sixth period uh, for anybody to have, to have lunch. Uh, and we're trying to look at it as not just a sophomore year or a junior year, we're trying to look at the eight years. And you think about eight years, uh, we get to know the kids more than anybody else on campus when you go from fifth grade strings all the way to the time they're a senior. So that's really kind of what, that's what my goal is, is to get to know the kids and to try to help them throughout the, the eight years. All right, enough of that kind of stuff. So there's my email address. There's um, Hopefully everybody's received at least four or five emails from me so far. Try to keep the emails brief because I know nobody likes to read all that stuff. Uh, they're brief with a bunch of links so that you know what's going on. There's the extension to the office. You're more than welcome to call. To be honest with you, we don't sit in there very much. There's three phones in that office, uh, but we're just not in there. Um, the best way is to send us an email, and there's the email from Mr. Norton. I'm pretty sure everybody already has all this stuff, but if not, there it is. Um, the next thing is a lot of times people say, well, I never knew what was going on. So this is how we find out what's going on. Uh, the teacher websites, I, I know they're antiquated and they're not uh, very fancy, but I do use my, I probably update my website once, once a week. Um, so it has information on there, everything from what's going on this Saturday to uh, how to purchase an instrument, how to do upgrades, how to get strings, those kinds of things. We're gonna talk a little bit about Charms accounts because not everybody was into the Charms account. I'm gonna show you the Remind app if you haven't used the Remind, I'm pretty sure everybody's used the Remind app so far. Um, the Instagram account for Orchestra, there's our handle. Uh, that is, uh, I run that along with the student historian. So if the post is lame and it's like a really bad meme and it says, hey, we have a chair test tomorrow, that's probably something I posted. If it's really creative and it's got movie parts and it's like a collage, that's something that Ashley, uh, the student historian, has posted. She's way, way better at, at it than I am. Uh, the Twitter account, we pretty much have that for Mr. Bloomer because he's real big into the Twitter. And then Facebook, a lot of that is now alumni and alum, I don't know what you call them, alumni parent. Booster Club moms from the past. Um, but these are the best ways to stay in touch so you know what's going on. This is fourth period, so that's the remind code that our kids are signed up for, and then that's the text for the parents. For instance, at about 5, 10, 5, 15, I sent a text out that had the schedule on it for today, uh, just in case people didn't know what the bell schedule was, because to be honest with you, I didn't know what the bell schedule was until about 5 o'clock. Uh, the Google Classroom code, I'm trying my very best not to do anything technology. We got a little burned out with smart music and Flipgrid and everybody making videos, and it just, it was too much. So we're, we're back to old school. We're gonna do chair test in class. Well, we have done chair test in class. The kids are playing for us in class. But I'm still posting some stuff. Some of the flyers, uh, some of the music, like if they lose it, they can always go get it off of the, the Google Classroom and that kind of thing. Moms and y'all are, moms and dads, y'all are welcome to sign up for any of this thing. None of this is top secret or I mean, uh, worst come to worst, you're just gonna get bombarded, bombarded with emails you don't need to know. Things that we, we, we send for the kids, like, hey, don't forget tomorrow your dinner theater tickets month, your dinner theater ticket is due, or tomorrow we're having a chair test, or on Friday we're wearing our orchestra shirts, those kinds of things. Uh, charms account. Your charms is an orchestra database. Everybody's charms account was created when their kids were freshmen. Jade's probably, are you Jade's parents? No? No. Oh. Who's oh, we just not getting. We're in Davion. We missed the first class. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> you're like the only guys I didn't recognize. They're, they're on lunch right now. There, there, there's, a, there's a kiddo that started today, and her name is Jade. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and since I didn't recognize, I was like, oh, maybe you're Jade's parent. Because uh, we don't have, she just started today. Great kid. Uh, we don't have her account, but everybody else's account is set up. So what's good for this is if you wanted to see which dress Paige had, you could log into charts and you, and you can see which dress. Uh, if your kiddo is using a school instrument, then you can see the, the size, make, model of their instrument. The financial reports are kind of a cool thing. So you can always log into Charms to see how much money Daniel has in his account. Um, if your kiddo is a sophomore, then they may not have money in their account right now. But you can log in if you're like, man, did I pay the organization fee? Or did I pay 25 or 35? All that stuff has already been inputted into Charms. So you can always log in to see. The information that we have comes from Skyward. 
uh, we, we migrated from Skyward into Charms. I'm going to be honest with you, some of the stuff is not super accurate. Uh, so, for instance, like my email would have been jthibodeau at hotmail.not, and it didn't update, like if I misspelled net. Uh, there's lots of little errors like that. So, if you're not getting emails from me or from your other teachers, you may be thankful. Um, <laughs> But we need you to check your Skyward to make sure that your email address is spelled correctly. Uh, and then if you could log into this Charms thing, and that will also help if you could update your information. Anything like uh, parents' names, phone numbers, any of that kind of stuff, it's all orchestra stuff, I promise. That's, I mean, that's, that's all, all we do. If you're trying to get on and you're like, man, I can't get this to work, my teacher website has a, a page just for Charms and how to log into Charms. And the YouTube videos are horrific. Uh, but I'm not a, I mean, I don't make a great YouTube video, I'm sorry. But, uh, but it is informative, you know, you're like, God, this voice, guys, voice is annoying. But at least you can, you know, it walks you through step by step on, on how to get through charms. Uh, the Google Calendar, uh, I, I think the QR code is working for once. Uh, this is the best way to stay ahead. We talked to the kids about planning ahead. If you walk up to Mr. T and say, hey, I'm not going to the concert today. That's, I'm not going to react very well to that. Uh, and it's the same thing uh, as a coach, right? You walk up to a coach, you're like, hey, coach, I'm not going to the game today. Mm, that's not a good scenario. But if, if the kids can get on these Google calendars and compare wrestling to orchestra and know that on November 22nd I'm going to have a conflict, then me and the coach can work things out, and it's not that big of a deal. Um, so that's kind of what that's for. They do have an Excel hard copy calendar, and it's already, it's already outdated. The new, the new bus schedule for Northeast ISD, we had to move our Peter the Wolf concert to Thursday instead of Friday. Um, so that calendar is already obsolete, unfortunately. That's why I like the Google stuff, because I can change it instantly and it changes on your side. On Monday, we're having a second meeting for Austria. If you haven't signed up for Austria, it's not too late. We're gonna pretty much go through everything again on Monday. And even if you did sign up, it may be a good idea for you to go to the meeting because she's gonna go over, uh, I don't know, it's got a real name, but we have COVID insurance. So like, if I were to get sick so many days out, you know, the refund is really good compared to if we didn't have that type of insurance. Uh, no matter what your kids say, if you want to go, you are welcome. Uh, even if your kid's like, you can't go, Dad, no, yeah, 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 yeah you can. Um, hey, looky there. I, this is the first class period I've gotten through all of my slides without them, so. If you guys, I mean, you've all been here before. Um, the other thing is, if you haven't joined the Booster Club yet, um, a lot of things that you see in the room um, are made possible by our Booster Club. And the moms are out there with all their QR codes to sign up for this, that, and the other. Um, if you wouldn't mind hanging out with them or maybe joining the, the Booster Club. Uh, there was moms here today that issued uniforms for the kids that missed during camp. So if you don't have a uniform home yet, feel free to Meander by the clothes rack outside and see if one of those bags says, you know, Paige Landry on it. You can grab it and take it. Oh, no, no, no. She, she got hers a cat. But you're like, I'm not touching that bag. Um, <laughs> another group of moms came in today and they organized the, the storage unit that's behind the wall here uh, to try to help get ready for dinner theater on, on Saturday. Whew. We must have gone extra fast. Anybody have any questions? It's the same old thing, right? Yeah, we're, we're ready for. For dinner theater on Saturday. The kids' tickets are due on Thursday. Cool. All right. Well, how about that? We talked extra fast this class period. Uh, you guys want to take off the fifth period? If you want help finding the fifth period. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are now headed to fifth period.